Welcome back, it's still Entertainment TV live on Metro Television. We are live on DSTV channel 277, live on Facebook and YouTube is Metro TV Ghana. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, uh, Metro TV underscore GH. Our guest is a very lovely friend of mine and also the table. I mean, she's been here, I think this will be the fourth time, yes, this year she's been here and this time around too she's here. It's none other than someone with an incredible vocals. I'll always say that it is Sefaji Ablan, or yes, Ablan Amesu, yes, popularly known as Sefa in the music industry. Currently, she's promoting um, a brand new single that is Vibration, and it features the legend Frederick Desire Ehui, but he's popularly known among us as Mewe, Freddie Mewe, and he's the one who brought the popular Zopla Zosta. I think he pioneered it. So this afternoon, we we're talking to Sofa. Since he's been here most of the time, we'll talk about other stuff, and then we'll talk into details with regards to this single. What you, were, what you watched wasn't the actual video. It's just a visualizer. And just see the things that she brought on. She brought her A game. But then, we'll talk more about that. Sefa, how are you? I'm fine, thank it's you. It's always good to see you. It's nice to see you. Oh, I was just telling you guys, I don't know if you bath with, with bottle water. Everybody always looks nice anytime I come here. Me, me we don't bath with bottle water. Hey, <laughs> no. Then you bath with snow. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. And you. We've been seeing the works. I mean, there are a whole lot of things you've been mm -hmm. doing. But I wanted to start that conversation with. Yeah. Um, I woke up one morning and all the headlines had um, Sefa wins big for Ghana in South Africa. Yeah. I mean, it was a big deal on like all the socials. Tell us about mm -hmm. it. How so, everything happened. You, you, yeah. it's like you represented the mm -hmm. motherland and yeah. you brought an award home. <laughs> Tell us about it. So, uh, I got the um, it wasn't even like an, a nomination, it was like an honorary award, okay, from SA Basidi Women in Music, okay, in, well, in awards. And we, it was like a couple of um celebrities, mm -hmm. the female celebrities from other countries mm -hmm. that they had handpicked, yeah, and also yeah. um, spoken about like the board of mm -hmm. chairman or whatever I spoke about, and then they gave us awards. It's like a women's entertainment thing where they they like support women, yeah. they award women on your accomplishments yeah. and everything. Yeah. So we were just then they told us, oh, this time we want to honor Sefa from Ghana. I mean, we want to come to Ghana and then we've seen Sefa's works. We love it. We want to honor her. So we want to um, fly her over to SA and have the awards and everything. That going there was like a whole trip on its own yeah but when we got there it was amazing i mm -hmm. met a lot of people I, I've, I've always seen on tv but mm -hmm. i've never met before yeah. and it was so much fun and just being on on that stage they, they spoke so highly of ghana mm -hmm. it's like they want to come to ghana you know because of the year of return yes everybody tourism like, ghana, now ghana. is yeah. a big deal yeah. i know yeah. like, ghana, ghana. It's like, mm -hmm. I so ghana over there. <laughs> <laughs> and then i mean we came back and it was amazing yeah it was yeah amazing. i mean when you were um taking the honorary mm -hmm. you, you your speech was quite interesting, and yeah. I actually <laughs> saved it. You said, I dedicate this award to all ladies in the country making a great effort to put the country mm -hmm. on the map with great music. And then you gave a dedication to your record label yeah. for supporting you, and of course, believing in your talent. Mm -hmm. I mean, the mere fact that you touched on women yeah. is good. Women supporting women is very, very important. Mm -hmm. In recent times, we see the males dominating yes. the space. But then let me ask, sometimes what the ladies experience, is it all that we see and hear? Or sometimes it is beyond what is reported with regards to women in showbiz? I think it's, 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 it's more than what we see. Mm -hmm. Even when it comes to showbiz, it's always more than what we see. Mm -hmm. what, whatever is represented outside or whatever is put outside is just like 5% of what's actually going on in real life. Because okay. when we come to real life, a lot of things go on that you can't even begin to explain. Mm -hmm. And me, I love women. I support women. Number Because I feel like even though women are a lot in the world, mm -hmm. we don't, we still don't have that support that yeah. we need because yeah. we are getting hit from our own women. We are getting hit from the men. Yes. We are not being supported from our own women. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's just, 
putting in the word and putting mm-hmm. it out there that women are working so hard and it's not all about the men all the time. Mm-hmm. And the music industry, ugh, I don't I don't even want to go there. It's crazy. Cause I'm even <laughs> fighting with somebody right now. Also, also, not like fighting, but it has to do with what we are talking about, mm-hmm. women and stuff like that. Because I had an interview earlier on mm-hmm. and they were like, oh, um, about this touching people inappropriately mm-hmm. appropriately and stuff like that. And I was like, I mean, come on, people, it's not like you don't, we don't want people to get close to us, mm-hmm. but when you, get, when you let people get close to you, they touch you inappropriately, yeah. you understand? And somebody's online saying, if you dress well, then they won't touch you. Should my dressing define exactly. or allow you to... You see, to these are some work. of the things yes. I feel like women go through, because it's like, my, my dressing does not define who I am. Exactly. You understand? And then if you tell me that because of how I'm dressed, it gives you the right to touch me inappropriately, mm-hmm. yeah. then you are not being reasonable yeah. at this point. Total so disrespect. Make any form of sense to me. Yeah. And that, this has just a bit of what we The go issues you guys exactly, go through. as yeah. women. Because you find people that ask you that, oh, why is that you're coming here mm-hmm. late? And why? Because we're doing makeup or you're dressing nice. But if I come mm-hmm. here and I don't look nice, you're the same person who's going to sit on Exactly. The they'll bash you. Mm-hmm. They'll exactly. bash you. So yeah. women go through so much. And these mm-hmm. are just even shallow examples. Of what is reported on social yeah. media or in the news. For someone like you, mm-hmm. when you were getting into the media space, did you groom yourself that whatever come, I'll work and make sure that my work will speak for me, or you entered blindly without like, thinking of the repercussions or the things that will come at you. Did, were you groomed, or you came in the industry and everything was like... In luckily, your face? luckily for me, I grew up in a house where it, I didn't have to like, over-explain myself okay. to people. Or I didn't feel the need to feel like I have to act a certain way mm-hmm. or the pressure is on me. So mm-hmm. let me act some, I was just brought up in a way, okay, love yourself. Mm-hmm. It's not about what you are. It's about the, maybe the work you put in, mm-hmm. you are, you are who you are, yeah. but the work you put in speaks volumes yeah. than maybe somebody, because if somebody meets me mm-hmm. and I open my mouth and say, oh, I'm Sefa High, I do music, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And they go online, they can't find any tangible work I've done. True. Then it debunks everything I've just yeah. said, but somebody can meet you and they already know your work. True. Just like I know you, I know you and I know, okay. <laughs> Apart from she being my friend, she's a presenter. So yeah. I mean, her work speaks for her. Yeah. So it's it's more of like you don't need controversy. So you don't even need to do too much mm-hmm. when it comes to the music space. Of course, people say you need it to promote your music mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But if the music is good, mm-hmm. yes, the come it will go without having people speak negatively mm-hmm. about you. Yeah. So for you, you 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 were sort of like already groomed. Yeah. You understood mm-hmm. what you were coming to meet. Mm-hmm. And what you've met over the years, has it surprised you? Or sometimes <laughs> you, you just say that uh, it's one of those things. So um, some of the things I, I see and I hear and I'm like, eh, like really, like really. Some of the things are very serious. Serious. They're like really because, you know, in as much as you are groomed or in as mm-hmm. much as you are, you are thought to mm-hmm. act a certain way, there was, this is life. This mm-hmm. is real life. Yeah. This will still surprise you yeah. no matter what. So yeah. some things I, I hear and see and I'm like, Come on, this one there is too much. True. Yeah. I mean, so on the back of that, I mean, women in the industry, this mm-hmm. you being, you know, celebrated in South Africa. Do you feel that you are being celebrated here in Ghana enough? I feel like the right people that the right people celebrate me all the time. I don't know how many times I've met her, right. but anytime she sees me, she's like, Oh, hi, are you? are you fine? Oh, this is your music is this is <laughs> So I think that the right people will support right. you. Before, if you ask me, I'll tell you, oh, they are not supporting the female musicians. They are not helping us push our music and mm-hmm. all those things. But yeah. the right people, when they find you, mm-hmm. they won't let go of you. Because yeah. I'm sure, like, for some time now, I've been doing music here and just promoting and just traveling to play shows. I've not really put out music mm-hmm. as much, but they found me and they handpicked me. This yeah. is who we are looking for. Yeah. We are not looking for any other person. So I think the right people will find you. You just Because if you think about that thing, you just depress yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but it's also clear that I mean, women are trying hard in this industry. They put mm-hmm. in the best that they can. Uh, they are working hard. Though others will also have their thing to say. Yeah. But then, uh, this still on South Africa celebrating. Do you think that in Ghana we can implement stuff like that to celebrate women more? I know there are awards here and there, musical mm-hmm. awards among others. Can we st- still, you know, more or less give this honors to women to enable them to do more? Yes. Th- like we expect them yes. to do. Yes. And is it even can. impossible? What are we going to do moving forward to yes, help I, this come to pass? Yeah, I think I think it's something that immediately we, we put in a plan and we implement is going mm-hmm. to work. 
And I also think that women, women here over here should start talking, excuse my language, to start talking their shit. Like, say, yeah. tell people who you are. We are too scared and yeah. we are too timid because of how we are brought up. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you mm. You have to, you have to speak for yourself. And that's one thing I think I have to now. I still like about Ebony. Ebony mm-hmm. was so like, Right. Yeah, yeah, out th- there. This is me. Yeah. You understand? So you, we have to put ourselves out there more. We have to stand up for ourselves because if you don't stand up for yourself, they will always sleep on us. Yeah. And it's funny how the likes of Ebony was not really appreciated while she was alive, but mm-hmm. once she passes on, we have the same people exactly. appreciating her, saying how exactly. bold she was, yeah. among other yeah. things. So I think it's all come back to the mm-hmm. fact that we should celebrate people yeah. while they're alive. Mm-hmm. Really. In, like this year, we had a conversation on this table with regards yeah. to women in uh, showbiz, women experiencing showbiz. And I had an artist and also um, a music promoter, yeah. or so Christina Kama and also Delasi. They were talking about the whole stereotype, the mm-hmm. marginalization and stuff. But the things they said were true. Yeah. But if you come to Ghana, I feel some of the time... Like you said, the women don't really put themselves yeah. up for it. Mm-hmm. They are not challenging themselves. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to say maybe the issue is industry staff or um, whatever thing they are going through. But in recent times, you see artists thriving, regardless of a label or not having a label. Yeah. The media space mm-hmm. is there. You can make your music go global mm-hmm. and then, I mean, um, do whatever you have to do. My only problem is that I want people to just start changing their mindsets. Because mm-hmm. if Sefa is dressed in a particular way, yeah. she is working. Mm-hmm. If you are working yeah. in the bank, you will dress in a corporate way. Right. right? Yeah, and the funny, the funny part too is that a lot of people who claim, mm-hmm. like, oh, this person is not dressed decently, they don't even know what decency is. <laughs> They don't, they don't know what right. it is. Yeah. Because I could walk in here and then wear maybe a two-piece, mm-hmm. like a trouser and yeah. a top. Because of my body, it will be too much for you. So you think, oh, it's not decent. Yeah. That's what I always say, that our bodies are different mm-hmm. and we're always from different homes. Yeah. And if the women start speaking up, because mm-hmm. they do so much work. When I was growing up, I used to see a Fia Becker mm-hmm. and go on TV mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they made it look so easy. They made yeah. me feel like... Oh, when you come to the industry, they are one, two, one, two, and you are done. Because they were not responding to these things. Yeah. They were not speaking yeah. up, yeah. even though they were doing the hard work. So, but once I got here and I mm-hmm. realized that, ah, like, all these things are going on behind the yeah. scenes. And it's like, like, speak up. And True. now they are speaking up. True. And then that's what True. is calling for all True. the bashing. Yeah. When in, we are supposed to support us, yeah. ourselves. Yeah. And big ups to the bosses who are also supporting the women. And I will right. give that to uh, Mr. Desson. Uh, is it Black Moon? Yeah, Black Moon. Exactly. Right. Big shout outs to him because, I mean, he actually nurtured talents mm-hmm. and he's been very supportive with regards yeah. to your music. But then let's talk about music. Mm-hmm. Early this year, you dropped Enjoyment mm-hmm. and now we have Vibration. Mm-hmm. Is there a duration or do you check the scene before you drop a music? Or you, It's part of your contract. You have to drop within the a year and a review. Mm-hmm. So, um, Enjoyment was um, actually dropped last year. Okay. But because I traveled and I mm-hmm. got back, so we did the promotion during the... The, 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 the new year. The year. Yeah. So, it's more of like... It's not, it doesn't have to do with a contract or anything. Mm-hmm. It's when, like, okay, we are ready to put our music now. We are ready mm-hmm. to put our all into the music now. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like in Ghana, that we are still trying yeah. to still talk to the people about streaming, mm-hmm. about supporting and stuff like yeah. that. If you put a lot of music in the in the system like that, yeah. people are not really going to, like... The influx of music doesn't make yeah, them identify it's, yours. Exactly. Yeah. It's too much. And me, I like to put my all in my music. Mm-hmm. So anytime oh, I'm yes. putting out something... I want it to come out there and then it's like, oh, even though she's been quiet for some time, it yeah. makes sense. True. You understand? True. So that's True. what I've been trying to do when it comes mm-hmm. to my music. And luckily for me, my label gives me that liberty yeah. to do that. Yeah. So. Yeah, enjoy it on your label. Right. I think if I, actually, if I can sing, <laughs> I'll be on the label. All right. <laughs> Interesting. But it's not too late. You can actually start some training oh. and then... Let me be where I am. <laughs> I'll do my small to support. Right. Yeah. But so far, I mean, I've seen awards in, in this country, but I'm talking about musical awards. Mm-hmm. Um, how important uh, musical awards to the life of a, a musician? I think that when it comes to awards, it's just uh, a, a f- it just adds to your resume or adds to your accomplishments. Oh, you've done well, take this. But right. me personally, I don't think an awards define you as a good artist mm-hmm. or not. Okay. An award is just a, a thing you go and put in your house. The next two right. days, you are, you are forgetting about it. So it's it's 
it doesn't it doesn't define you as an artist. Quite interesting. But you won uh, the uh, Afrobeat Song of the Year yes. uh, last year. How yeah. has that added to your music craft? Are you saying that it didn't add anything at all? No, no, no. Craft? That's not what I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. saying that it did add something to it because now even when I go outside the country or even when I'm in Ghana and I'm yeah. having conversations with people, it, because it's part of my resume, I can say, oh, even last year, mm -hmm. I was given an award for last, and it adds to, oh, that girl, you remember that time that she said she mm -hmm. won an award? You mm -hmm. know, it, it just adds to the conversation to make it nice, to make your brand mm -hmm. look okay. nice. But I'm saying as an artist, like if you do music, you shouldn't be thinking, oh, if I don't get an award, then mm -hmm. I'm not a good artist. It, it, it doesn't add much to your talent or anything. But it's unfortunate that, you know, over time past, we've seen some musicians that have done really good jobs mm -hmm. and they were never awarded. I mean, people have talked that they wish these people were awarded. They feel that these people have been cheated because, yeah. I mean, in the year of review, mm -hmm. they've done very well. And for some reason, mm -hmm. some of these people, over time, we don't get to hear of them again. We don't get to see so much of them like we used to. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that because they didn't get those awards, mm -hmm. so more or less, uh, no, they are not, it's like a motivation. Mm -hmm. So they are they not getting the motivation they did and that's what has you know left them behind in their music career no i don't think so mm. i think i think the music the in fact the creative space there's a lot that goes on in the creative space okay. as i said earlier on and getting an award not getting an award is yeah. it's like the the tiniest bit of it mm -hmm. people are going through things in their personal lives that they don't really normally share especially yeah. in this part of our country where we are not even given the liberty to do, to talk Right. about our personal lives and stuff mm -hmm. like that so it has nothing to do with our award because i've seen like even when we go for our award shows there there are people in the crowd who say oh who mentioned this name don't mention another person's name right. that this person won their award but it doesn't change the fact that the next year or the next two months the, the other person will release music it's just maybe personal stuff I see. I, I was saying that I don't want to mention it, but I've seen quite a number of people that, you know, have done this and they weren't giving awards and now we don't hear so much of them. But mm -hmm. I can give a classical example of Kim Promise who, mm -hmm. you know, um, have been uh, struggling for awards over the years, but somehow he got it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, I mean, the fans were happy that, I mean, he has mm -hmm. now received the award and mm -hmm. somehow I feel has helped because after that we now get Terminator, which is everywhere in the world. So I feel that, you know, some of these awards more or less encourages the musician to do more. Well, yeah, I think... Kim Promise is actually right. her favorite. Well, 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 yeah, I think, I think it, it, it can be a form of encouragement. As I right. said, if you have something like that on your resume, that's a good thing right. for you as an artist. Yeah. But I also It shouldn't think discourage I, you. It shouldn't discourage you at all. But Kim Promise is an amazing artist. Yeah. Even before he released it, I was like, damn, you need to write. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. He released an album, mm -hmm. some other songs yeah. that were, yeah, that were amazing. I, yeah. I think... I just that, think it depends on the song and exactly. the moment. You understand? And now the like the music industry has so much evolved that right. sometimes it's not really the award. Fine, it mm -hmm. can define it. It can mm -hmm. encourage you as an artist. You look forward to something, mm -hmm. but it, it, it shouldn't really be the cherry on the cake and everything. But then mm -hmm. it's good if Sefa becomes artist of the year. Mm -hmm. hey. It's a big deal, right? You know <laughs> what I would do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it will happen. Yeah. It will happen. It will happen. Yeah. It will happen. It will definitely happen. It's I mean, so the pace possible. at which you are going to will happen. Yeah. Talking about the pace, do you listen to your catalogs? Yes. And it's so different. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. It's very wild. Sometimes I listen to my music and it's like different, different journeys. Yes. I'm like, right. Sefa, what's going on yes. with you in your head? What's happening? But, I mean, this is me. I always tell you that I don't like being put in a box yes. I feel like I have to do one thing at the same time I like I love to explore yeah. and when I'm working with somebody on a project mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want to especially working with legendaries like Sarko, Dear Me, We I yeah. can't tell you that yeah. do what I like or do okay. they'll bring their sound okay this is what I mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. can you mm -hmm. work with it you understand and I somehow I always fit into it and I make yeah. it work out yeah. and it comes out and people love it so why as a creative why should I put myself in a box and do maybe Afro beat yeah. or Afro pop exactly. all the time exactly yeah. exactly because the reason why I, I ask if you listen to your catalog is that if you listen to the singles that you release yes. and if anyone takes his or her time to listen to your album, yes. Growth yeah. 2020, mm -hmm. you see there's a difference in mm -hmm. what Sefa gives. Yes. And that difference is not bad. Mm -hmm. It just shows your versatility. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I ask you, do you listen to your catalog? Mm -hmm. Because some artists might choose to drop a song and then yeah. they'll just go and leave it. But if you mm -hmm. listen to it, it's very, very good. But so mm -hmm. among all your songs, which one is your favorite? Ooh. 
Oh, choose oh, a favorite yeah. baby. Oh, I mean, I can tell you oh. my parents' favorite child. Oh, yeah. It's not me, though. <laughs> oh, I mean, they are all my babies. I love all of them. Because okay. they give me a different vibe. Because yes. they, they are all different things. Yeah. So I, I just love... When I'm in some type of mood, mm-hmm. I listen to different types of music. Yeah. And especially this one that I just released. Mm-hmm. This was what really brought me back and was like, ah, Sefa, you are doing different, different things. Yeah. Right. Because when yeah. I listen to this one, yeah. I, I sound different. You sound, sound different. different. You were you were back in yourself. Yes. It's like you are with I the was, choir. Yeah, it was crazy. Because yeah. it was... I was like, God. But thank God, I mean... Anyway, my favorite song, yeah. Sefa, yeah. ever, yeah. ever, I can listen to it any day, any time, mm. is Memories. Yes. Oh. That yes. song, yes. Right. whether you are going through a broken heart, oh. you understand. Mm. Whether you have found a new one, <laughs> you, you understand. understand. <laughs> whether you are overly happy, you, you understand. understand. It's just that we don't have a music video for that. Yeah. And every time I fight Sefa on that. It but then we are going for a quick commercial break. When we return, we'll finally talk about vibration. I mean, how did you get the legendary mm-hmm. to be on this track? And how was the working process and everything? You're still watching Entertainment TV live on Metro Television, and we are having an amazing time with Sefaji, Ablan, and Misu. We're back with more. Welcome back. You're still on Entertainment TV live on Metro Television, and we are having an interesting conversation. This one is behind the scene. I was telling Sefa mm-hmm. about her act work. I mean, if you follow Sefa, you get to know that every single comes with a particular act to it. It's either she's in uh, rollers that are coke pants or in blinks, blinks, right. or I don't know. But Sefa, this particular song, mm-hmm. did you get the title before or after the song? That's when you, you decided to name it Vibration. It was after, after we recorded the song. Okay. That's when I decided to name it Vibration. Because anytime I listen to the song, it give, you know, it's that type of song that when you listen to it like over and over yeah. again and immediately you hear the beat, it just makes you want to yeah. Yeah. move even though yeah. you don't know the yeah. lyrics. But yeah. it's, it's very simple. So I just felt like, oh, if I hear it, it gives me some sort of vibes, mm-hmm. so vibration. Wow. <laughs> and just like the title, mm-hmm. did you want to put someone on it? Was it a deliberate attempt to get Freddie Mayway? So before we even did the song, mm-hmm. before we did the song, we're talking about because I was asked, oh, what, what songs have you been listening to? My, my team knows that I listen to a lot of old songs, okay. even from way when I was a child. Mm-hmm. So they were like, oh, what songs have you been listening to now? And then there was this time where we were all having a meeting. I was like, ah, do you guys remember that song, Freddie Mayway, Zo Plazo? So we did, we did the song because the producer did the beat, everything. Mm-hmm. We did the song and then we were like, okay, now who to have on the song? Mm-hmm. And then we just decided, why don't you just hit Freddie up? Mm. And I was like, okay. And I took my phone and I texted him on Instagram. I oh, you like, know him already? I didn't know him. Like, I, did, I knew him as a legend yeah. who sings. But yes. like, I didn't, no I had to even look for his, I didn't know he was even on Instagram, you mm-hmm. know, because of his age and yes. everything. Oh. I now had to go and look for his name. Mm-hmm. And then I texted him on Instagram and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my name is Sefa Mishian from Ghana. I love your music, blah, blah, blah. He was like, hey, hi. Of course, send it to me. And then that was it. Just like that. That was it. It's like it's he had the song. It's not always that easy, you know. I was saying, it's easy like that. Yeah. yeah, it's not always that. And, you know, right. people, this is like the short version I've told you because I, now I have to, if I'm going to deep, mm-hmm. I have to use translator because mm-hmm. he speaks French. Yes. Yeah. And I speak English. Yes. So he's like, oh, my French is not that, my, my English is not that good. <laughs> mm-hmm. I said, then I have to use translator. Then anything I type, I translate into French, French. and send it to him. He sends it to me. I translate <laughs> to English and stuff like that. So, but, it, it's all part of the creative yes. process for me. And it's amazing. It's amazing to have that, that sort of communication with him. And it's so nice to hear these things because yeah. most mm-hmm. people enjoy the end product yes. of an artist's craft. Right. Mm-hmm. We don't know that you go through this process oh, to actually get it to us. Yes. Wow, that's yes. very nice. Yeah. And so he just did his and mm-hmm. he sent it. Yeah, because when we sent the song mm-hmm. to him, out, we were waiting for some time because he's on tour right now. Okay. So we're waiting for some, like, it wasn't, it was like then a few days mm-hmm. after, like the next day, because I sent it to him and I was waiting because I was nervous. I yeah. didn't know if you say, no, don't use it because mm-hmm. it's, it's my yeah. right or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. So I, I think the next day or was still in the evening, he texted back, it was like amazing work mm-hmm. with fire. Send me the file, do it and send it to you. And then we just got it back. That was it. Yeah, he was like, oh, I'm on tour, so I'm a bit busy, so I did it now mm-hmm. to send mm-hmm. to you. Maybe mm-hmm. you won't get me later on in the yeah. day. So he just sent it. I was like, oh that my was God. It. 
But then the song in itself, mm-hmm. what was the message? What are you trying to say to others? Mm-hmm. What do you want people to take away from the song? So um, this time around, I wanted to, I didn't want to take anything away from the original song because the original right. song is already a masterpiece. I just wanted to make it fresh, make it like more of like our generation, add a little bit of our piano, the African vibes right. the, to it. So it, it's more of like having fun, but I'm talking about love too. I'm yeah. talking about sharing love. You know, love is a very relatable right. subject to everyone. So yeah. It's awesome. a beautiful thing. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it is. Hey, Nana, you in love? <laughs> oh, Amelia, I love to be loved. Ooh, yes, I love to be girl. loved. Right. Oh, Amelia, I don't, I don't hide it. I don't hide it. But <laughs> we'll be wrapping up very soon. But Sefa, every time yeah. you drop a project, mm-hmm. you you take it to the next level. Yeah. You take it to the next level. Mm-hmm. Like it's never a dull moment. Yes. So in my mind, I'm thinking after Sarkodie, mm-hmm. who else? Yeah. And now you give us the legendary. Mm-hmm. Pretty maybe. Hmm. Don't you get scared sometimes for yourself? I know, I That don't. you are setting some type of standard <laughs> that you have to keep up with those standards. Mm. Yeah. Does it scare you that it will get to a time it wouldn't be as such or the focus is the sky? Whatever happens, yeah. it is just that. I mean, when you put it like that, it, it gets a bit scary mm-hmm. sometimes. But then with mm-hmm. me, I just... First of all, I don't, I don't really think about... I don't feel any sort of competition anywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm just working and putting out yeah. music because I yeah. want people to love music. Yeah. I want people yeah. to be happy. You understand? So the, actually, the sky is the limit. Anytime I put, I'm working, mm-hmm. I'm not thinking about, oh, I need to get this person mm-hmm. on it. Too. Otherwise, I mm-hmm. won't release this song. Mm-hmm. I just do the song and the universe does what it needs Every, to do. Everything, yeah. So it's, it's more of like, the standards are being set, and mm-hmm. that's what people don't understand. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, yeah, you, you, your songs are somewhere. It's not like the normal Ghanaian ones that we usually hear and stuff like that. It's because the vision is always different. Yeah. The vision is different. So the sky is the limit. Hopefully, there are bigger things from here. Right. <laughs> it will be, be one day, one day, we are just seeing Sefa. And I want you to work with Steph London, though. Ooh. I've always said it. Sefa, Steph, Steph London. <laughs> two, two tech women doing an amazing yeah, your vocals i think that's crossed maybe when my yes you, right. yourself you i'm thinking you mm. miss banks yes steph london yeah it will be massive <laughs> i know your boss can make it happen but then um just the visualizer mm-hmm. we are enjoying yes, it yeah. i know how you always get uh, be part of your creative process yeah. um the costumes did you do the did you do them this time? So uh, with the with the costumes mm-hmm. I just shared an idea on okay. the, the one with the portrait. Okay. Thing. But I had like a whole team that were there too because this is more of like a visualizer. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. just left it to them. Okay. Yeah. Let's just have it done. Because we needed to do it ASAP because of the interviews yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. But yeah. I'm sure when it comes to the main video itself mm-hmm. with Freddie, like I mean, I mean myself, I cannot wait. Please, black have any music. I beg you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we shall like that right? no. yes. So you can imagine the main video. We'll be, like, I, I know. Beautiful. It will never be simple. Really? <laughs> it will never... They like yeah. extraordinary. <laughs> but it's, it's, really. Yeah, but it's good, Sefa. Yeah. I mean, uh, you. we will listen to this. Enjoy it till December. Right, yeah. I'm not saying drop an album. Mm. We love the singles. <laughs> but then, has it ever crossed your mind? Because after three years... Mm-hmm. Um, we are so enjoying the singles. Yeah. Are you thinking of making something like an EP we, or anything? We, right now, I, I think I can say this now because we've dropped Vibration. Okay. Vibration is off an upcoming project okay. that we are about to put out. So okay. this, this one there is just so from Makeke. From Makeke. Uh, hey. And even right. the single yeah. with Freddie Mewe. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey. And yeah. So is yeah. that supposed to be an EP or an album? Uh, it's it's my, my team and I have not yet decided <laughs> on what it's going to be ah, yet. But okay. I mean, you guys will love it. That we'll one is for, for sure. It. Yeah. We'll wait for it. I mean, Sefa, every time I see you, it's a vibe. And I really appreciate the fact <laughs> yeah. that you're not feeling well, but yeah. you actually came through. Thank and I'll so say much. that she never disappoints. When she says yeah. she will come, she comes. <laughs> and a big shout out to Emmanuel and also the boss himself. Any final thing? You want to add before we go? I mean, the VTR guys are saying a lot of things. But then any final message you want to say? Uh, I just want to say a big thank you to you and your team yeah. for always being here. This is like home to me now. So anytime they tell me I'm coming to Metro TV, I'm like, ah, home? Okay, I'm coming. So thank you to you yeah. to you guys for all the support and to everybody that has been supporting me. I always say I don't have fans, I have family. You guys yeah. have been so amazing to me. Thank you so much. And we have a new one, our title, Vibration, featuring yes. Freddie Mayway. The dance challenge is already going crazy yes. on TikTok and social media. Make sure you send me your videos and let's see. Well, this is just our Christmas banger, yeah. but the EP2 is coming. So, oh my God.
You said it. Like, so, you said it so, yeah. You see, every time, eh, every time I tell people that when you come on this table, we are just having a right. conversation. Right. I want Broad people to so feel far. free. Yeah. So you end up saying a lot of Before things. Yesterday, you know actually, it is none of my business, but right. then someone actually said that Kojo Entry is working on a massive project right. oh, I love that we can't, it's like, it's like a book. Yeah. Right. And I can't wait to have an interview Ooh. with the man that I've right. listened to all yeah, my I life. I love him too. Yes, Mr. Really music man. You can't yeah. wait. Oh, so okay. I, I, I don't fault you for just it's saying that. It's on table. It's <laughs> on table. Anyways, <laughs> he, Helen, do you have any right, dedication I, before yes. we go? Yeah. Uh, very happy birthday going now to Kezia Bliss. Uh, Kezia Bliss, uh, she did my makeup. She's a makeup artist here with Metro Television. Have a good one. Enjoy your day. Be blessed and live forever. Happy okay. birthday again. Okay. So far, but will you go to Ujura? Yes, I have a, a show there tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, yes, yeah. Tomorrow, I, I, I pray for your strength. Because right. you go and do a lot of things. I know how you yeah, go into yeah, performance. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, you'll be fine by tomorrow. <laughs> Amen to that. Anyways, guys, thank you for always having us in your homes from three to four. Really, really appreciate you tuning in. My name is Anaya Tanoa Boache, and I did this with Helen right. Anyeweja, yeah. a.k.a. Helen K. A big shout-out to Desmond Okreko Danso, and hopefully Harriet gets well soon and also we had sefaji coming through a big shout out to the production crew enjoy the rest of our programs up next is news flash <laughs>